We got the replacement SOS coils. Um, running the numbers and everything, I don't have an ohms reader to tell if they really are, but all it is just an OEM coil with a Sultan's of Spark sticker slapped on it. And not even a good job at it, too. A um, couple of them failed already on me, and they did honor it by sending me two new ones. But I feel like these ones, without testing them, it's just the OEM coil with a sticker slapped on it. I don't know if they're a scam or not, so I guess uh, today or tomorrow I'm going to go out, get an ohms reader, and I'm going to compare it with my, uh, my uh, OEM coil with one of these. I still yet to go get a tester for it and all that, so... It's Sultan's a spark. What I think is an OEM coil with a sticker on it, but I don't know. I tried searching these numbers online. The only thing that came close to remote is they're made in Japan. So I don't know. I don't know. I take a Q-tip and I'll saturate it in there like that. Get those soaked with the dielectric grease. And uh, I'll smear it all around on this too real quick. Uh, it's nice and snowy. Nice and cold. So I'm going to get out there. Pop these two in. Um, yeah, I'm going to still compare them with one of the OEM ones and see what the ohms are. Higher spark or some shit like that. So that's why you gap your plugs a little bit bigger to give you a bigger flame shooting that cylinder down, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Again, I still yet to have test them. Uh, I made a video on before and it's been, I don't know how many months, six, seven months, and uh, two already failed. So I don't know, they're definitely uh, not OEM quality. Uh, they were slightly cheaper than OEM, I guess. So yeah, uh, if these work out again, hopefully longer than six, seven months, but they are good people at DUI distributors. They uh, sent me two new ones, so they honor their one-year warranty. They didn't ask for the old ones back, which I'll probably send them back if it's free. Um, I don't know what they could do to rebuild it or not. I don't even know how you would rebuild it if it came apart up in there or something like that. So, yeah, you're probably just better off just chuck it in the garbage. But I'm going to get cold, and I'm going to toss it in. So I put the new SOS coils in. And um, I need to go get a tester to see what the difference is. Hopefully there is a difference. Otherwise, I just paid for cheap knockoff coils. So I'll let you guys know I'll update it some more. Well, I'll probably just go get Ohm's Reader, do the test on the video, and yeah, go from there. Okay, I finally got myself a little tester. Um, looking at the instructions here. All this shit and how to hook it up and all that good stuff. I do believe I have it hooked up right. I have it on the right setting. Well, anywhere between here and here. So, um, here's... Uh, one of the new SOS coils um, you now it has like 51 miles on it so I yanked it out real quick I'm gonna shove a prong up the ass of this thing and um, what was it supposed to have higher voltage I think Lee should only have to touch that spring in there so it was a 8.6 Eight five eight six. That's a pretty high uh, voltage, eh? All right. Uh, here's a stock coil. Let's uh, show it up the ass of this. Maybe. Maybe. Let's touch that. Seven two. Wow. That's a 
pretty good difference in that. But these coils only shine in high RPMs. That's where they're going to shine. I don't believe that they would shine in lower RPM range at all.